we are cutting our last parts with this laser machine and uh, hopefully it's sold if not we might just take it out back and fill it full of tannerite hey there guys i'm chris at wolfridge manufacturing today we got a exciting day a day we've been waiting for for a long long time um, so our first first laser cutting machine uh, was used we bought it used we bought it from uh, hk uh, out of illinois and um, we could say that it wasn't ideal we could say that we had some problems with it we did cut quite a bit of parts with it but today is the day we get to say goodbye to that that hk laser so a big piece of equipment like this here um, it can really make or break a company um, and it's no different than a wood splitter say you've got an old used wood splitter you've had it for years um, it needs a new engine it needs a new pump it needs this it needs that um, those things happen um, but when you're talking a you know a couple hundred thousand dollar machine those little parts cost a lot more and the downtime costs way more when you have you know 20 guys waiting on that wood splitter basically for a reference um, so if you guys have been thinking about a wood splitter and you're not really sure if you you can justify spending a bunch of money on a new machine yeah they're expensive they're expensive machines for sure um, but if you think about the time and the hassle that you spend fixing something instead of making money with it um, it's definitely a big factor so keep that in mind guys thanks a lot for watching
you look at that. Got her all loaded up. Bit of a load on that gooseneck trailer. But uh, we're only going three quarters of a mile. And we'll put her into storage until she's sold or just in case we ever need it again, we'll have it. Hopefully the DOT is not watching. Well, the old dually got her. Move that big son of a gun back into our old shop. This is where we were for three years. And this bay was still open after we moved out. So we're gonna put her back to use as a storage unit for now. We'll end up leasing this space, but we'll have some storage space for it, for everything uh, we need and, and whatnot. So it should work out pretty good. We've got a 20,000 pound forklift there, gonna lift off one side, and then a little forklift on the other side to help it balance. So. Lifting her up. Forklifts off the ground here. I gotta get ready to move the truck. All right, so this is Zach. Zach is our laser operator. He has been in charge of this nightmare machine. Yeah. What is it, how do you feel now that it's it's not in our shop anymore, Zach? I'll just have to, I don't have to look at the thing anymore, man. <laughs> <laughs> has, it, has it been, has it been uh, challenging to work with this old dinosaur? Actually, it's pretty nice because you know every month or so I get a week off from running it. But yeah, when it's broke down. Yeah, that's that's nice. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't have to have that problem anymore with the uh, the new ma new machine. Yeah, I'm ready to get busy again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> well, we got the big piece out. We'll get the couple cabinets and some panels back there. We'll get them out. Scrub the floor good and uh, get ready for next week. Next Wednesday, we have the new Mazak coming in. And uh, we'll try to get some video of that, that install, and uh, get that moved in here, and get her back up and running. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate all the support you guys give to, you know, to us and our channel and our brand. And uh, you know, it means the world to me to, to, uh, to be able to be in front of the camera here and just kind of give you guys an update every once in a while what we got going on uh, and whatnot. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, take care.